subscribers and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell, okay? That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. Tonight we're just going to continue right along in the series I've been doing you versus them. This, this particular video tonight is going to be for Capricorn. I'm doing earth signs because I didn't post y'all the other day. So here we go, Capricorn. First, we're going to take a look at what is blocking, like what is the challenge? What's the conflict between you and whoever you're dealing with? So please do keep in mind the reading will not resonate with every single Capricorn, right? Um, it doesn't apply to just, you know, love relationships. It could be any type of connection that you have, relative, coworker any type of relationship okay so Capricorn this is what we're doing okay this is what we're doing and we're clearing the space out all right I feel the mask Palo Santo on on because we we need to right we need guidance and protection all right most high heavenly father almighty Please allow me to see the messages for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please only allow the messages to come forward for their highest good and highest vibration. Please and thank you. All right. Let's do it. Capricorn, you versus them is what we're doing. You versus them. Please allow me to see one significator. What is the blockage between Capricorn and whoever they're dealing with in their energy right now? Current energy surrounding Capricorn and the person they're dealing with. What is the blockage between them? What is the blockage between them, please? Ooh, Seven of Wands. Capricorn. So this is the significator card, okay? Seven of Wands. Y'all see that, right? My light is... Hold on, y'all. This light, I swear... Is that better, Capricorn? It's so bright. Right? Seven of Wands, anywho. Okay? That is the main issue between you and whoever you're dealing with. Somebody is very, like, they have an energy of being very defensive, or they come across as very defensive. Everything, little thing you say turns into some type of argument. This person may feel some type of way about whatever you say, okay? Or this is you, Capricorn. Like I said, take the messages as they resonate. They, they will not resonate with every single Capricorn, right? So, let's see how this person that you're dealing with, that you're having this, I feel like a very strong conflict type of energy between you and this person. Capricorn, you may have, you're like, I feel like for some of you, you're like trying to stand your ground and maintain your boundaries, regardless of what this person says or does. And then for some of you, it's the other person. It's the other way around. Like they're trying to stand their guard. They could be guarded. They like they don't really want to get their feelings involved for some of you but for some of you i feel like this is you some of you are protecting your energy like your heart chakra you just you've been hurt before and you don't even want you don't even want to go there but but let's see how this person uh is viewing the connection between you two whoever this is how does how does the person capricorn is thinking about how are they dealing with this conflict the seven of wands Ooh. This came up in the reverse, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> How do they view this? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So that means this person could be very like... How they, they see you, Capricorn, the situation with you. They feel like maybe you're not giving to them. You're not giving in to them. You're focused on yourself. <laughs> the fool. This person does, I feel like they still have a certain amount of hope in the connection, but for some of you, they don't. Yeah. Um, they, they, they feel like the, either this is their energy or yours, but this person still has hope or faith in the connection. Like they do want to move forward. They do want to take a risk and try to move forward with you, Capricorn. Or they may see that that's, that's your energy. However, you kind of feel like you're wasting time here. Like, you're wasting time here. But with the well, it sounds like you're trying to manifest it back together, or they are. Yeah, two of cups here. Because there's a lot of love here. Two of cups. This is, this is for some of you, this is a twin flame divine counterpart connection. So, um, of course, you're going to try to manifest this back together, right? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this in the upright energy. This is the the well. But yeah, this person I feel like could be definitely trying to manifest this connection back together between you two and, and Capricorn. You're like, nope, not having it with the Seven of Wands. Because remember, that's the let me put the Seven of Wands in the middle since that's the significator. I'll put it in the middle. I'm gonna move these cards up. There we go. Okay, so there's that. How are you viewing this connection? Like, it's a way, of, so for this person, Capricorn, let me clarify, because sometimes my, my brain moves faster than my words come out. This person feels like they're tired of trying to nurture this connection with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, this person um, also may feel like they they may not have enough financially to to actually offer you in this connection for this to grow, like to build. Like if you two are thinking about starting a family together, this person may not feel like they have enough to take that risk. Um, also, they, would, they don't wanna waste your time. They may have told you this Capricorn, for some of you, this person, even though, even though they manifested this connection with you with the Two of Cups, right? They feel a very strong connection to you and they do have love for you, Capricorn. This person doesn't wanna waste your time. Because they, they just may feel like they're not ready to take that risk yet. They're not ready to stand in that King of Pentacles energy and the upright energy, right, of the King of Pentacles and nurture and give and have, like, an actual stable connection. Which could be why the Seven of Wands is the major issue here because um, this person may not open up. They may be a little bit guarded with the Seven of Wands. It's a guarded energy, like, and I feel like they could be trying to protect you from being hurt Capricorn for some of you but if, if not this could be your energy take the messages as I resonate cross watchers if you get a message from this great all right let's see how you view the situation Capricorn between you and this person <laughs> five of cups in reverse this is great you're no longer stressed out about it you're no longer crying over spilt milk you felt like this you could feel, you could kind of feel like this person's distance, I feel, or they, them being guarded towards you in the connection. Um, some of, for some of you, Capricorn, you're just trying to balance things out in your life. They could be financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally, but you're just trying to balance it all out, right? And then we have the Queen of Wands. A lot of you are standing your ground. Like I said, standing your ground. You, you're setting your boundaries. You're not going to allow somebody to uh, give you. You're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. If this person can come to you in a king of pinnacle energy and a mature, you know, ready to actually settle down, have a stable offer, build a family, build a home that you kind of don't want this <laughs> kind of don't want this person, this offer, you know, because, I mean, it's, it's a crappy, crappy situation. Whoa. More cards, yeah, yeah, because you feel like you feel like it's not fair, it's not fair to you with the justice in reverse. That's you know, inequality, um, non reciprocal, yeah, you're not happy here. Wow, for some of you, you are not happy with this person because this person, um, they say things or they do things that cause you to, to guard yourself, to protect your heart space, to just really not open up to them because of their actions, like they they. It's almost like this person gives off a very selfish vibe for some of you Capricorns. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Especially with uh, the Fool, they could be more concerned about them set, like how people see them. You know, the Fool doesn't really give a care about serious matters. They just, the Fool, he's just on that journey to do new things, have new adventures, go places, do things, which is all fun. But at the end of the day, you're an adult. So you have real adulting daily life things to take care of. This person can, this could be, a, this is Libra energy also. So you could be dealing with a Libra for some of you. And this person could come across as very childish at times. And you're just not with the, you're not with the shits, Capricorn. Like, <laughs> look, y'all are serious. Capricorns are very serious, especially when it comes about, comes to taking care of responsibilities. Y'all don't play, right? A lot of you work very, very hard. You work long hours and you try to maintain um, balance within your, and that's temperance energy here. You, you, you try to maintain as much balance as possible and this person comes in and they just create like they 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 make you feel like things are off balance with the way that they act the lack of energy the lack of effort that's the word the lack of effort with the king of pentacles in reverse this person doesn't put a lot of effort in even though this person may have come towards you you know talking a good game like hey let's 
let's get together. You know, I got feelings for you. Whatever the case may be, they may have manifested it with the well here. The well is like my magician card in this particular deck. But they may have manifested this connection. So you two come together, right? With the two of cups. But then they don't put in the work. Some of the pinnacles. They're not investing. They're not, they're not giving you the time. Um, they're not expressing their emotions. They're not showing you that they're serious about it, right? So you're kind of done with it. <laughs> you're done trying. Maybe you were heard about it at one point, Capricorn, but you were like, you know what? F it. I'm done with it. Tempers. I need to balance things out in my own life so I can move forward and stand in my power. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands energy. And this isn't this doesn't only apply to divine feminines, it's divine masculines also who are standing in the Queen of Wands energy. Right? The Queen of Wands, she's loyal, she's committed, she's hardworking. That's you, Capricorn. So this is definitely your energy. You're tired of this person, um, a low-key narcissistic. The sun in reverse does have does you know symbolize narcissism in, in a in a sense, like negative energy here. What's the advice? Give me one card for the advice for Capricorn, please. Ooh. <laughs> Cut it off. Two of swords, Capricorn. Two of swords. Cut it off. Cut it. Cut it. Whoa. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. All right, Capricorn. Yeah. Some of you might have to block this person, like just, or you could be blocking this person, but that's the advice. Two of swords. Cut off. This person has to realize your worth. I feel, Capricorn. Yeah, they have to realize your work. They have to realize that they have to bring something to the table just like you bring something to the table. All right? So that, that has been your reading, you versus them, Capricorn. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you enjoy the reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, love you guys.